What am I looking for? Dutch is not a serious language. Thank you, Daddy. Give me on club. Papa! Give me on club, Papa! Give me on club. <laughs> I didn't even peep game. You know what's crazy? I want to know. That's something we got to dive into. What? Not on our regular one, but once we go private, we, these, these are talks I need to know about. Every language has nasty ways of talking. What do you mean by when you say nasty ways? What do you that, mean? That, 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 you, I know, I know Dutch people is not talking about spank me, daddy. Give me, <laughs> give me in pa clap, papa. Like, what? I'm, I'm trying to figure out if they're joking or that's really how you say it. No, nah, he, he translated. But you know what the problem is with translating? It's very robotic. Mm. So I'm sure in Dutch they have a mm. slang way of saying certain things. Because yeah. give me un clap. Give me un clap. <laughs> of course, look who fucking posted it. Um, this, this Quirk one. Temper Jalen. Yo. You. Yo. Look, 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 let me at least just say this. Let One of the funniest mother flowers I've ever fucking... Mother flowers. That I don't want to curse too much. I feel, I feel <laughs> like, I just want to say, like, this is this is not even a ping. A menace. Uh, you see? See? No, 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 no. Don't even do that. Because you hesitated to, a to answer that, it's a fact. But don't take it to offense. <laughs> I, 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 hope, I hope he takes it to offense, as a matter of fact. If we held a survey, many people would agree. Hey, matter of fact, you just gave me an idea. I'm about to hold a survey on the 2P's Twitter account. And should, we're going to repost should it. Should we defund Quick Temper's account? <laughs> no, not defund. <laughs> Is Quick Temper a menace? Do yes we... or no? <laughs> That's it's, it. Keep it simple. Keep it it's simple. Not gonna be not, it's not going to be... It's going to be 100 yeses and one no. His one no is the one no. It's gonna be him. It's gonna be him. It's gonna be him. He's gonna be like, no. Hey yo! No, shout out, shout out to Jalen. Shout out to Jalen for the for the content that he be putting out and the memes and the retweets. Cause man, he be dying. So, and on that note, welcome to episode. Let's get it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how do you do? Howdy. How deep? How's it going? I hope you guys had a great weekend. Mm. Before we get the show rolling as we do, mm. do not forget if you're feeling the vibe. Wait, what is it? What is it? Think, 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 think. Like, share, and subscribe, man. Thank you. It's simple. Stop playing. Very with us. simple. But besides all that jazz, we are back with another episode. We have a lot of pep on our step. We're happy because. <laughs> what happened to them boys? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that singing it weird? Yeah, you were. Uh, what, 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 what happened to those feller dapper what, boys? <laughs> You were, you were. That's oh, funny. Stupid. Let's go. Are oh, you ready to get the episode started? Yeah, man. Let's get it started. There's way too much going on. Let's let's cut Let us not intro. hold you. Keep it rolling. Let us get what up, the what up. You know what it do? We're gonna open up with some Marvel news and the Marvel. We got Daredevil and the Punisher news. Mm -hmm. Daredevil born again. Uh, apparently, they're gonna be teaming up. Which, I, which is music to my ears. I like to hear that. I, I like me some Punisher. It's a yin and yang, yes. in my opinion. Yeah, it really is. You got the pure, like, uh, nah, I'm going to do what you, I got to do. You literally got a lawyer and a criminal. A lawyer and a criminal. Or, but you, when I say criminal, or, I'm or a deadly, loosely, loosely. A deadly vigilante. How's that? I'm being, yeah. <laughs> a deadly vigilante. A, a criminal in, in the law, long arm of the law's eyes and stuff like Facts. that. Facts. So they're going to be teaming up to be fighting against corrupt policemen who I believe are going to be under Mr. Fisk himself because oh, he's mayor now. I like I like that. I like that. It makes makes total sense. You're mm -hmm. the mayor now. Of course, 
with King Ping as mayor, he's gonna muck some things up and that's an easy play. Mayor, Kingpin, police, of course he's gonna use them at his behest. I love how the story started with the Netflix series. He was just getting started. Obviously he already had his money, he went through jail. You know what I'm saying? He, it, was, it was the beginnings of Kingpin. His humble beginnings. He was just Fisk at the time and then he became Kingpin at the end. And now he's full-fledged Kingpin, becoming mayor. Having all these people under his helm, mm -hmm. it, it's I like it because now we're getting. It, it's like they're catching up to speed to what he is. Yeah, to what he is to show people who he is for real. I run this town, but I'm a douchebag. That's pretty much the theme for Marvel. It's a um, slow rollout. It's a rollout of things, I, and I, I like that. Say what you want about the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Give them their props. Who else is doing it like this? DC tried to keep up and they're, now they're resetting things. And, and, and I don't, no disrespect to them, but... It just didn't work out for them. You know what That's I mean? It. That's all. Speaking of films, in order to mm. make films, you need writers, do you not? I am not sure if you heard the great news. Please, please, talk to them, talk to them, talk to them. The strike is over. Let's go! Pay them, man! Stop playing around and pay these people who make y'all the big bucks. Pay them, folk. Let's go. As I once said, mm -hmm. under the new WGA agreement, AI, artificial intelligence, is not classified as a writer. Mm -hmm. Thus, AI generated material is not considered. Literary material. I like that. That is music to my ears. Mwah, that was delicious. That is victory. Look, I have. Um, hmm, I'm gonna tread lightly here. I don't. I'm not against AI. I'm not but for this. The, but the the line is is getting teetered too. It's it's too close. It's like let's keep what we've been doing for centuries, yeah. decades, mm -hmm. eons before our time. Let's keep it. Let's keep it real, man. Let's keep it as real as possible, because if not, we're going to lose ourselves. We're going to lose recipes. AI has, I'm, I'm, I'm in agreement with AI. I have no problem with it. It has its time and place. You know what I mean? Don't, let's not get overboard and prove John, Con, John Connor right. Oh, chill. Let's not do that. Chill. <laughs> Dude, all of that was a wonderful setup. That was not curated. No. Nah, that you, just you happened. Threw me off. You threw me off. Let's not prove him right, but yeah. Don't have a, a what, T-1000. I don't want no T-1000. Uh, I had nightmares about that. <laughs> the way he ran <laughs> was crazy. Listen, but Chill. yeah, that is awesome news. And I hope, like I said, I hope the writers are getting everything they wanted and more. Oh, as a matter of fact. That's it for Marvel news. It's great news, though. I'm yeah, that's lie. wonderful news. I'm not going to lie. The whole strike is over. That means we're settling. We got writers getting paid. Actors are going to get paid. They get to go back to work, go mm -hmm. back to the drawing boards. Let's not delay these and to me, And to me, it's like, you look... Who, who was it that made that? I know who you're talking about. I don't know Garb, That garbage come. You look... I like how they say it. The CEO. He was yeah, like the, the CEO. CEO. You, have, you really have egg on your face. I love that saying. Egg on your face right it's now. Like, don't you <laughs> like... Like, look, listen to what you're saying in the grand... You're not thinking. You're thinking in the moment versus thinking the bigger picture. Look what happened. Y'all had to settle anyways because you wasn't going to move anywhere. And to think like that is just so, like... Egotistical. Like, what's the word? Like, it, 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 isn't it dope to know that I can come to you and be like, yo, we're working down right here. Can you throw us a bone? It's like, man, don't even worry about that. Wouldn't it be good to know that I have someone I could count on, depend on, versus someone I know if I come to them with these grievances, they might fight about it and now I have to strike to get what I want? No, I'm not even happy about what I'm doing. Exactly. You'll be happy with, about what you're doing if... I know if there's any problem here, I can go to headquarters and be like, I don't like this, this and that. And headquarters will be like, you know what? We're going to accommodate you because without you, we can't, we can't do we anything. We ain't doing nothing. Facts. Common sense. That's logical. One plus one equals two in that equation. Facts. Well, 
At least, you know. But great, the strike is over. We're going to get the ball rolling. The films are going to be filming. The writers are going to be writing. The movies are going to be moving. <laughs> <laughs> the movies is going to be moving. Yeah, that's so, good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's all we got for Marvel News for now. Till next time. Guys, it's, it looks like we're, we're just chock full of great news today. Um, I'm always asking him, when's this anime coming back? Oh, my God. Why are they taking so long? Well, one of my favorite animes is coming back. What anime that is, you may ask? Dragon Ball. But this time ain't round. We have a change of name, a change of scenery here. What are they calling it now? Dragon Ball Magic is the name of the new Dragon Ball series. Still continuing off of mm -hmm. the last movie we just seen, Dragon Ball Super. Uh, Heroes, <clears throat> which is also a continuation of Dragon Ball Super after the tournament. So, it's interesting. We're getting about uh, 14 to 15 episodes, 30 to 40 minutes long. Um, 14 to 15 episodes. Would you say that's a season? Almost. Typically 20 episodes sometimes. But... They're probably going to do 15 episodes. 30 to 40 minutes each is crazy. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. They're usually only 20 minutes. <clears throat> I'm very intrigued by the Dragon Ball magic. Mm -hmm. Like, what are we doing here? I don't watch the main... I don't, I'm kind of glad I don't uh, read the manga. So, like, I'm, I am I get surprised with this. So, this is kind of crazy. And um, also, they're introducing two new characters... Outside of the movie that we just watched? Oh, what do you mean? Like, you know... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're introducing the two Like, two totally new. Characters. new. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know if they're evil, bad, or good? We're about to find they know, out. They didn't say nothing. Okay, all right. What, 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 what's, what's, what's tight lip? What? Johnny Tight Lips. Johnny Tight Lips. Dragon Ball got Johnny Tight Lips working yes. over here. <laughs> what else is going on in the anime world? Hey, right? yo, like, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh, this upcoming Thursday, September 28th. Now that there's no more My Adventures of Superman. Yo, we've been, like, we haven't had anything to watch. Gotcha. Um... I mean, we, did, we we went to the movie, the, you know, the early viewing. Mm -hmm. Nothing mm -hmm. crazy, expendable four. We can't, you know, we can't can't say we haven't been watching something. Mm -hmm. But uh, Castlevania Nocturnal returns this Thursday. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. Um, I hope they drop it one episode at a time because I don't want to binge it all in one night. Because knowing me and this fella right here, I think they will. Because that is not. It what was they like did that last time. With they did that with Castlevania. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Not the first one. The first, the first season, it was all out. Really? Yeah, and we would watch two, three episodes a day and, and just keep watching. And we finished it pretty fast, and we got upset because then it came out like a year and a half later. <coughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's that's dope, man. Because um, legit, one of our top animes mm -hmm. and i like how it's considered an anime i really was looking at it and it's con it's not an animated show it's an anime it's considered an anime really yep and i like the i mean it's not even like what am i gonna say it's not like castlevania just came out it's not like it's a a new take on vampires it's just dope to see this take on vampires and Castlevania's a vampire. Castlevania's perspective on vampires has been dope. Well, have you seen as, as you've seen from the first season, it's very dope. So like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I like how they're keeping the whole bloodline thing going on with um, because a Richker is a Belmont. So I like how that they're, they're keeping the that bloodline still there, man. Still mm -hmm. strong. That boy's still out here, you know, doing what the family lineage has done for decades, mm -hmm. centuries. Which is clap vampires. Clapping vampires. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was about to say the, the temper thing. <laughs> what else we got Clap going on? <laughs> what else we got going on in the anime? To world? my other fellow uh, anime <laughs> um, viewers, 
Uh, I know my boy Winston is going to be happy about this one. Tokyo uh, Revengers Tanjiki Arc is returning in October. So we're back with Tokyo Revengers. That's one that it's it's on my list of things you need to see. Where they stream that on uh, Crunchy. Crunchy, Crunchy Roll. And I know it's Crunchy, but I don't even know. It yeah. sounds like something that would be on that's Crunchy. A, that's a legit <laughs> Crunchy Roll one. Yeah, yeah. First season was pretty dope. Um, just to give you like a premise, it's almost, almost, almost along the lines of like the butterfly effect, kind of. Mm. Watch the race. When you say butterfly effect, you're talking about the movie. The movie, the movie, question? the movie, yeah. Like the, you know, you, almost along the lines. Mm -hmm. It's just the fact that you go back and forth through time, kind of. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's almost along the lines of that. Uh, I've watched season one. It's it's pretty fire. It's pretty. It's one of those psychological action, not really thriller, just action. You know what I'm saying? Always keeps you on your toes. You're always kind of like figuring out what's going on. So season two is really, really, it's much anticipated. So I'm, I'm excited for that. I know my boy Winston's excited about that too. Um, when is it returning? Or we just know it's October. coming back? October. October 4th, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, October 4th. October 4th. Um, that's right around the corner. Mm -hmm. Shoot, we about to be in October in the next four or five days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so long September, but yeah. Halloween is always begin. Halloween, this is Halloween, this. Don't let me, don't <laughs> let me get started. Don't let me get started. But, that's all we have for anime news. We're waiting for more. You know what we're waiting we we Oh, you should let me say. I know. We'll figure it out. They're gonna. I. I bet you they're gonna throw a bomb at us. Hopefully everything works out because so I can works out in time financial wise. So I can finally get me one of these. So next time we'll report on it. Oh, the cloaks. We'll be wearing. Do they sell ODM gear? Chill out, relax. And when I say ODM gear. I'm not gonna. When I say ODM I'm gear, not supporting this. When I say ODM gear, I want to. I know. I know what you're talking that. about. I know what you're talking about. I'm not supporting this. <laughs> I'm not even gonna help you look. You're gonna have to find that shit yourself. <laughs> this man is gonna be. He gonna pull up one day. <laughs> <laughs> this man. This man. Oh my god. Oh, Anyways, that's all we got for anime news. Till next time. Well, if you heard. But, if you don't know, now you know. Mercy has a new single out, and the title of the single is The Artist. Mm, I like how you did that right there. Mm. It's produced by Lebanon. All right. If you want to take a gander, it's on his YouTube, Music by Mercy TV on YouTube. Spelled exactly how it said, mm -hmm. Music by Mercy TV. Thank you very much. He also has a project called Michelangelo mm. Dropping Very very soon. TBA, no exact date. Man, Just wait on that. This man always got something in the tuck. Mm -hmm, last mm -hmm, time we interviewed mm -hmm. him. The last was, time we interviewed him. He's like, he's like hey, y'all hey, gonna see. As a matter of fact, him. I might have to put that clip right there so you guys <laughs> can check that interview out. Shout out to Chief. You gotta literally get the clip where he was like, y'all gonna, y'all gonna. I'm looking for that. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Also in music news, hey. Death, Death World Twine. Look, Twine. Garden tools. Let's go. That is different. What are we talking about? It piqued my interest out. Bro, send me that email. Anyways. His YouTube. That, that that video is on his YouTube. Deaf World Twan. Check that out. As I Am drops November 20th. That is a new project that he's working on. If you want to check out all of his music, go to his website, deafworldentertainment.com. If I'm not mistaken, that's around his birthday. Uh, Either that is his birthday or that's around his birthday. I see what he's doing. Yeah, I see there. what you're doing. Bro. So, like I said, two tracks to check out. One by Mercy called The Artist, produced by Lebanon. And the other track and video is by Death World Tarn called Garden, Garden Tools. Tools. YouTube is Def, D E F, mm -hmm. World Twan. T mm -hmm. W U A N. Check it out. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Oh, three as in three and oh. Oh, I see what you did there. Hey. No, hey. Wait, that was a wonderful setup. I wow, mean, yeah. brother. Yeah, I promise y'all, we don't be doing No, nah, it's not curious. No we just do it. 
if you look at our, at our notes, our notes just have bullets of things that we do, and then we just what is, go, what's, what's the word? Hell, if you hang with us, you see it in action. It is how there's a lot of times where we'll be chilling, and then our friends will be like, "Yo, that's a podcast right there." Ew! Kicking the door, waving the four four. Hmm. That's what we've been doing. It's a it? great feeling, especially like that. What I like is you saw how we looked at the first game. And the second game was like, all right, it's like it's getting better. Ch- 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 and then three, I can't. Ch- 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 you see what's we're not, happening? We're not at. <laughs> we're not yeah. there yet. <laughs> and it's looking. It's looking good. Listen, before we get into Eagles, moves, before we wild out, before we wild out, I went to the store and I, you know, I called my good sir here and said, "Yo, should I get another rap snacks?" Mm-hmm. And um, I chose, there was two that we haven't eaten yet, and this is one of the two. We'll get the other one next time. But I had, I had, I had to do it. I had to do it. The icon, the wrap snacks icon with Biggie on the front. It's, a, it's an interesting flavor. Um, honey jalapeno. Honey jalapeno. Notorious big honey jalapeno potato chips by wrap snacks. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Brooklyn legend Christopher Wallace, aka Notorious B.I.G., is known as one of the most prolific MCs to ever touch the mic. I like I like how they represent so loose. I don't have to go on. I don't have to go on. I don't have to go on. That's 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 real. Uh we're gonna pop these open while we go ahead and uh talk about what happened this past weekend. Why don't you give us the First bit of news with what Hertz has done. Hertz surpasses Cam Newton mm. for the most rushing TD by a QB in his first 50 career games. Mind you, he's only done it in his first 48 games. There's still two more games for him to add on to that. Previous record was 28 touchdowns through 50 games by Cam Newton. Shout out to Cam Newton. Mm-hmm. That was 20. 29 Nine. through 48 games. Mm-hmm. By the way, these are actually pretty interesting. Now, we all know Hurts can do what he does. Keep the main thing the main thing. That's winning. And I love him for that. A lot of questions surrounded uh, our defense and our defensive coordinator after Jonathan Jonathan Gannon left. And we also lost a lot of key defenders this past um, offseason. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. The first three weeks, I've been more... I don't want to say frustrated, but more concerned with how the offense has been running, how slow it's been, how we haven't really gotten it together. You know, if I, after each game, I'm saying shout outs to our defense and special teams. Mm-hmm. Uh, yo, this week, special teams was on fire. Shout outs <laughs> to Brayton Covey. I see you, Covey. There's a lot of times where I, I'm cringing because I'm like, oh, what's he going to nah, do? Nah, Covey. Two I'm times, two times, boy. Confidently. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey. That defensive line is on fire. Jalen Carter was a steal Mm -hmm. in the draft. Mm -hmm. He was a steal in the draft. He's demanding so many double teams that your boy Fletch, Fletcher Cox is, oh, y'all not double teaming me this time? Look and look and, and look what Easy. happened. Look how look what look what y- y'all got Cox doing. Mm. That's all mm-hmm. <coughs> I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it. What about your boy um you missed a week. Came back and now what he doing? Who? Blanking ship? Mr. Blanket himself. Hey yo, shout out to Blanking Ship. What you know what I like about these young boys on the team? Hungry. These guys is hungry hungry and coachable. Oh. I'm glad we got Fletchers and these old guys to be there for them. Cause one day they're they're gonna have to go our Kelsey's, they're gonna have to Bro, the big four. The big four, they're gonna have to go home and Fletch, Graham, Kelsey, Lane, the big four. They're gonna have to go and to be under the tutelage of these big four. 
I don't know if y'all noticed, but there's a little sign in the back. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all can read, but if you can, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and tell you what it is. Let them know. No through traffic. What do you mean that by that, my uh, good sir? Before I, uh, this is a really good tip. Mm -hmm. I like them better than the Rick Rosses. Sorry, Robert. Yeah, these are fire. Look, man. Before y'all start wilding and talking about this man stole a sign, da, 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 I found this in the garbage. I Who cares? Who cares? I'm just saying, there's a lot of haters out there. <laughs> I found this in the garbage. I picked it up. I said, yo, P, we're going to use this tonight. It's perfect timing. I literally found it today. Perfect timing. Facts. Monday night football. That defense was wilding. Okay? Bucks only scored 11 points. Now, I don't want to hear y'all talking about it's only the Bucks. They were 2-0. They were 2-0. Uh, Baker Mayfield has been playing the best first two games of his entire career. No turnovers. No didn't turnovers. Lose, didn't we lose to him last time? We lost to them in the playoffs two years ago. Mm. When Hurts first went to the playoffs. Yeah, 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 yeah. But listen, man. That defense was so bugging. Hurts threw a pick. At oh my God! You're talking about the the one when where he made an athletic play at the one yard line. Shout outs to I forget who the defender was. Shout outs to him. He made a very athletic play. That's one of those hurts. Really put it on the money. The defender just made a really athletic play. He made a great read. Whatever. Stopped him at the one yard line though. We got some dogs mm -hmm. on the defense. Mm -hmm. Check. Get it right back. Give us another chance. I'm going to give Morrow his props. But before I give Morrow his props, let's go back to Jalen Carter. If you look at... I'm, I'm going to show you all something real quick right here. Jalen Carter demanded the double team at the goal line, which led to Nicholas Morrow sneakily going in through the gap and saying there's no through traffic over here. Safety. With my boy... <laughs> there he is, playing, hitting, hitting his his best impersonation of uh, Bollywood. Yeah, no. Hey, man, look, all I'm going to say is once our offense gets rolling, I think we're really going to be it a looks problem. Fun. It looks like them boys is having fun. Besides working hard, them boys is um, the, the synchronicity is happening. It's and they're hard-fought games. Mm -hmm. It's not easy-peasy games. Mm -hmm. It's not, oh, I blew them out the water. I like these hard-fought games in the beginning of the season because we're going to tighten up and sharpen it up by the time it gets real in the playoffs. And I can see what they're doing. I I, I can't fault. You can't even, even for the haters out there of, of, of Jalen Hurts, you can't even fault Jalen. I can see them come, all of the teams coming out this season mm -hmm. and building a game plan around trying to shut Jalen down, not understanding this team is not called the Philadelphia Hurts. It's called the Philadelphia Eagles, Eagles. meaning there's many people here that will give you the smoke. Facts. Also, shout out to Brian Johnson. Week one, the offensive play calling was looking a little iffy. We weren't on the same page a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Week two, I like how he turned it up, switched it up. It wasn't working in the first half, switched it up. We got Swift rolling. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, ha. Speaking of Mr. Zero himself, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Swift, baby. Talk to me. What's going on here? Wally. I heard they hated they hated on you on your other team. They didn't, they didn't even use you like that. They didn't, they didn't even know what to do with you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's okay, though. Now you got some big boys to run behind, find you a nice hole. Get out of there. I'm not going to lie. I'm really liking how we're running the ball with him. I can't wait to see what we got going on, which is crazy because week one, he didn't have a single carry. Mm -hmm. Week two, carried the hell out of that ball. Week three, doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. If it's not broke, don't fix it. After three weeks, your NFL rushing leaders at number one, you got Christian McCaffrey with 353 yards. We got Swift at 308 yards. Wow. You got Cook at 267 and Connor at 266. That's a very healthy lead for Swift. And it's only a few yards ahead. That's nothing. Where That's McCaffrey's nothing. only, what, like 40-something yards ahead? Like, yo, we chilling, bro. 
We chilling. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good season, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, next week we have the Washington Commanders at Washington. Yay. Let's see what we got going on, man. Defense got to tighten up. They got a new offensive coordinator over there. We respect Bellamy. Uh, Bellamy? Yeah, Bellamy. Uh, off the Kansas City Chiefs. He's now the offensive coordinator at the Washington Commanders. So let's, uh, let's tighten up. We got a short week. We had a nice long, a nice long week rested. Now we have a short week. Let's get everybody back into where we need to be. And let's roll, man. What I'm about to say is a fact. Before the game even started, I say, I said, wow, it's crazy. We're about to be 3-0. and Literally. Mr. Wow. Justin. <laughs> Mr. Wow came through. He's, he pulled up. It was me, Mr. Wow, Muggsy, P. My man was chilling. Literally comes in. He said, yo, what up? You know, it's crazy. We about to be 3-0. and Bam. Let's get it, man. Till next week, man. Let's see what we got going on. Fly, Eagles, fly, baby. <sighs> You know what time it is. Fight news. Let's get Man. it. Man. Hmm. This probably be like my third or fourth time trying to tell y'all to watch 1FC. At 1FC 34 on September 22nd, which was a Friday. You know, that's where they usually have the events. Super Let Kayak Mu defeats Rock Tang Jit Mong Nang via unanimous decision round three. And you should be seeing the clips right now. It was a bangery. You saw it. Yeah, it was pretty intense. It was pretty intense. Um, the elbows from Rod Tang to uh, Superleg. Split that boy. I told you he was looking like um Main. Main from uh, a Cyberpunk. <laughs> Golly. Like literally, literally split down the middle. And the crazy thing is, um, I only saw highlights of the fight. But in those highlights, you got to have a good eye for it. The way he throws, is it an elbow? Yeah, it was. It and what's funny is, what's funny is, 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 is it's just an elbow. You can say elbow form because even if you don't get the elbow, you're gonna catch something. All form. Something's catch gonna all get form. caught. Yeah. If you don't get the form, you catch all elbow. He was throwing elbows too, but he was throwing the uh, his elbows different, sideways versus his when he's coming forward. Literally, I'm just a fan. I'm a fan of heel, this one. Heel, <sighs> and as he's ah, and you don't. It's very deceptive because right, you don't see it mm -hmm. as a as a viewer because it's so fast. It mm -hmm. looks like he's just moving his shoulder, but he's literally throwing that thing, and that's mm -hmm. why he got split. But Superlek came out with the W. Mm -hmm. Yeah, props to Superlek. Big props, cause boy. The following day, we had a USC fight night, September twenty third. The main event was headlined by Matuwes Gamru and Rafael Fazib. But we had an injury, whereas we saw Gamrot winning. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, apparently, there was an injury by Raphael. The leg. Something. At first, they thought he was, it was, uh, he broke his what? foot, but apparently, it was um, his ACL. Oh. And, yeah. You can't stand on that. Yeah, I, I, don't, I never understand that. Like, they, 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 they give Gamrot. Win, wins by TKO, but I'm like, why don't you just call it no? If you're not gonna call it no contest, make a fight canceled due to injury. Like, I, I hear you, but nah, bro. I want to kick you in your body's frail. I'm sorry. Um, it's I get what you're saying, but at the end of the day, it's like, look, I hurt you so bad that but he did, he didn't hurt him that's what i'm trying to say it was just a freak thing he went to go throw a, throw a kick and it's like he twisted his leg wrong or landed that that's why you're saying what you're saying i understand i would understand if it was that that'd be cool but it's not that that it wasn't that i went to go throw a kick and it was like at a sick angle and that's it you know what it is it's one of those that he didn't know but you know when the rubber band's about to snap and he doesn't know and it just so happened to snap. With that. And it, it's it's such an and I get why that they, they still have that rule. It's arc it's archaic in the sense that MMA is still prehistoric. It's still a baby. These rules are still the same rules we had since the beginning of MMA. Still they need to be revised. But that's beside the news. That's besides the point. Sorry. Ah 
You're dumb. Ah. You're laughing like Homer when he became rich and he turned gold. Um, in MMA news, look, I'm not even going to hold you. I'm just going to be blunt. I'm not a fan of Dylan Dennis. So Never this was. bit of news had me smiling like Chester the Cat. <laughs> Is that, is that his name from the Alice in Wonderland? No, no, she, she, uh, the Cheshire. Okay, okay. So, originally for set for October, we had Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis. Mm -hmm. I don't even care to know what happened with Dylan Dennis. He's not making it to the fight. It's now turned into Logan Paul versus Mike Perry. I don't care what happened either. Because he's the one that's been wilding this whole time. Look, I'm all for... Twitter fingerhead ass. I'm all for when fighters know they're about to fight each other, whether they talk smack, whether they do whatever they have. It What Dylan was doing as far as attacking um, Logan, not his, uh, fiance, his, wife, fiance. his fiance, like, me personally... I don't care about the fight. Next time I see at Wayne's, I might slap the taste out your mouth. That's just my opinion. Con whether I sign a contract or not, we'll deal with that after the slap. And it's, with very, um, it's very classless. Cla classless is the word. Nah, I know we're in a time where, you know, sometimes we kind of lose class and we get in the whole... I'm not, even gonna, I'm not even gonna. Let's do, big it up. At this point, now nah, you gotta remain honorable because we're in the times we're in. We you have to make it a point to even remain more honorable. That's a whack. Yeah, yeah. And now, here's my thing you were the one being classless, mm -hmm. and now you're pulling out. Man, watch out. Why? Watch out. That's classless. Why? Be a man. You was doing all this trolling, yapping. And, and you that, spent too much time on Twitter and not in the gym. And now, you, and now you're not going to let the man that you've been yapping about get his hands on you or, or exact revenge. You want to be out here sparring with Aiden Ross and blah, 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 blah. Bro, come on. Get it together, please. Matter of fact, don't get it together. I don't even want to hear about you ever again. Just go away. Just go away. Go away. In other MMA news, this one does not rub me well at all. I didn't like how he came about it. Tyrone was recently on Rampage's podcast, and when he was told, asked who would... Who would fancy him to make him return to MMA? And Tyrone said he would. He would, He wants to beat the f out of Izzy. No chance. No, no chance. And I just say I not saying it. not saying that he doesn't have a chance. I'm saying if I'm Dana, no chance am I doing that. Oh, I I agree both. No chance has Dana doing it, and no chance has you have no chance against Izzy. That too. But I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I'm not trying to. That's not the first thing in my mm -hmm. head. No chance. Brother, you like, lost why? to you lost to Jake Paul twice. twice. Ah! Two two P's <laughs> twice. Lord. So let exact that revenge for Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. No sorry. Nothing against Jake. None, none. You you've been doing your thing. Mm -hmm. You've been doing your thing. We we are not Jake Paul haters here. Not at the least. At man. all. All y'all that hate him because of his YouTubes and all his past stuff. I don't know whatever. him. I don't know him. We know him as these. Mm -hmm. bing, bing, bong. Even though he hasn't really fought anybody crazy, he still gets my respect for having these fights. And from what I've seen, he got hands. He got hands, man. You got to respect hands. the hands. You got to respect the hands. It is what it is. And other news, this is recent. I guess you could say this is breaking news. Tony Ferguson versus... Patty Pimblet is has been added to the UFC 296 card that's set to be December 16th. What's your thoughts on that? Um, excuse me. Tony has been what on the slump? Six Owens, fight, six fight, six fight losing streak. Owen six. To me, this is like uh, Tony's Tony's gatekeeping, and Patty has to knock him down to move forward because it's, it's, honestly Patty hasn't really what when's the last time he fought the, so much so that I don't I don't care about Pat I hate I, like, I hate like this I don't like Patty so I don't know last uh, but last, you get what I'm trying to say like this is one of those like all right Dana yeah, said, I, yeah, break through and, this and, and then, then we'll see what we got going and, 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 and in the way it works for no it doesn't because you know let me let me just be frank I've wanted Tony Ferguson to retire 
uh, many fights ago now. This is ridiculous. Even uh, so much so that even if he wins this fight, I still want him to retire. Yeah, no. If he wins this fight, just right off in the sunset. Knowing him, he's not gonna do he's that. He's not. Yeah, he's not. So, yeah, if he wins this fight, that's great. But it is whatever, man. That card. 296 is headlined by Leon Edwards and Colby Covington. Mm, so they're going to be under that card. Mm -hmm. Fire. Here's what's also on that card. Stephen Thompson, Thompson versus Shavkat Shav Rachmanov. Uh, Wonder Boy? Yes, sir. Oh, again, Shavkat. Oh, that is God. a bankery of a card that is being created. Rachmanov. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a heavy, heavy hitters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. In other news, I still don't know why. Maybe it's technical difficulty. PFL is holding an event in Paris, but there will be no stream. That doesn't matter to me. I will be getting my do -do 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 Inspector Gadget on, trying to find me something. Go, go, Gadget computer on. Let's go. In boxing, BKFC 50, that took place September 22nd. Lorenzo Hunt defeats Chris Kamazi via split decision to retain his title. Good job, Lorenzo split Hunt. Split is, there's three judges, two of them mm -hmm, says one, one, and then the third one says... And easy, yeah, and the easy way to think about it, unanimous is like, man, yeah, you get... All you get three of them. Yeah, like, or, or two of them and only one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Zhang defeats Joyce via KO. Look, last pod we are reported because this was the sequel that fought the first time. Zhang had knocked out Joyce in the sixth round. And I had predicted that Zhang would not only knock out Joyce again, he'd do it even earlier. And that's exactly what happened by knocking him out in the third round in this fight. That's crazy. That's pretty much how it fares. So a 2 0? Against the yeah, pretty, pretty so much. I said no yeah. more. Keep yeah, you can't do that. You Keep can't moving. Do that. Uh, they're already talking about Zhang versus Fury, but the way Tyson Fury is going about right now, he he does not want to fight one single boxer at all. Yeah, he's a. Uh, you know what it is? I think he's already done what he he. To me, at his age, he's already done what he needs to do, and a lot of people are like, well, he didn't really. He fought. He came off his couch and fought and did his thing. Mm -hmm. Now he's just cashing out, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm not even mad at it. Go cash out. Do what you gotta do. Well, another boxing match that took place that night. Where that, <clears throat> that night as well with Richardson Hitchens, where he defeated Jose Zapata. Mm. Excuse me, Zapata via unanimous decision and remains undefeated. That was a lightweight to weight. Though. Hitchens. Mm -hmm. We watched that. Undefeated. Oh, that's so. Oh, yeah. That uh, was. It was black dude versus. Uh, uh, Spanish buddy and Spanish buddy couldn't do nothing. Yeah, yeah, he was looking crazy. That speed was crazy. Mm -hmm. And let's get on to our upcoming joints. Joints, we are closing out the month. One FC fight night fourteen takes place September 29th. Friday. Got mm -hmm. it. Yeah, for the most part, always Friday. You can always count on one FC. Oh, one FC, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and and uh, the Muay Thai joints. Wait, mm -hmm. this is the Muay Thai. Joints. They, that's it. That's it. They, bro, they do MMA. They do Muay Thai. They do kickboxing. It, it depends on what's going to oh, go down. One FC just has a whole collection oh, of whole okay, 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 okay. Got it. One FC, Fight Night fourteen, Stamp Fairtex. thirteen and four, and he's on a three win, three fight win streak. She. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're good. Because, no, because, no. no, no, no. You know why? You know why? Slap my Not, it's a, you know why? Because I've read Fair Text before. A lot of these people share last name. Yeah, it's isn't like, Fair Text? You've read that name before. I know. And this Stamp? Like, I can't yes, even tell. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm so sorry. Stamp Fair Text. 13 and 4. Mm hmm. She's on a three fight win streak. Versus Ham Sao He. Bruh. Mm hmm. I would have never known this was two females. Anyways, 3 and 0. Oh. Wait, that's crazy. 13 yes. and 4. You've been wilding out here. Mm -hmm. And now you're 3 and 0 oh undefeated. I like that. But that's a lot of fights that uh, Fairtex got under her belt. Yes, this is true. Okay. And this is very interesting. This is for the interim Adam Weight MMA World Championship. Yo. <laughs> that's crazy that they Adam called Waite. it Adam Weight. 105 pounds. They're so light mm -hmm. that they said they're Adam. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. And UFC has broken their streak in a fight for fights every weekend. We have no UFC fights for the September 
30th, which is a Saturday. I'm not mad because I know it's about to be wild in yeah, October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries, though. Like I also said, like I said previously, PFL Paris will not have a stream, but I'm going to be... Go, Gadget, go! <laughs> <laughs> we have Cedric Dumbe. 4-0. Versus Jordan Zebo. 4-0. That is a welterweight. That is a welterweight bout. That's interesting. Two, Two undefeated, and both Same have record. four dubs under their belt. Interesting. Very nice. I have to wait to see what that's about. And this, we will be tuned in front row. We have Canelo Alvarez. Yo, my dog is 59-2, and two, and one of those losses is to Mayweather. Who's the other loss? G, Triple G. Two, yo. Two legends. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Versus Jermel Charlo. 35 and 1. Here's my dissertation. Who's his, who's his only loss? I didn't check that. We got to find that out. Canelo puts his four super middleweight championships on the line against undisputed junior middleweight champion Jermel Charlo. This is Canelo's third defense of his titles, and this will be Charlo's first fight at 168 pounds. So, Jermel is looking at a chance to make history. Showing up at a way you've never been before. Where was he before? Lower? Beating, yeah. Beating someone such as Canelo, Canelo Alvarez, a decorated 59 and 2. My thing is, um... Is this Canelo's like weight or is this a catch weight for him? No, it can be catch weight. We're fighting at um Oh, we're fighting at 168. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is like Canelo's realm. Mm -hmm. And he came up for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Cause a lot of people who are who have been calling out Canelo have been saying, come down, come down. It's like, no, bro, I'm too old for that. Come to me. Come to me. If y'all want to fight me, come to me. We'll figure it out. And so Jamel's, shout out to Charlo. Jamel's advantage, I see it as, is... Length? Youth. There's youth on the side. You know what I mean? You got, you, 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 that, that's, uh, uh, I'm not saying that's what's going to beat him. If if I have to, if you're asking me what are the advantage is, that's one of the advantages he has is just youth. But yeah, in yeah, my yeah. opinion, experience... That boy, that boy Canelo got experience, found youth in Mexico somewhere. Experience trumps youth sometimes, and a person such as Canelo is not going to throw his experience to the wayside. And he's not the type to get distracted easily. Nah, like, he's not going to fall for those games. He's going to yeah. fight He's gonna fight his fight and do what he has to do to catch the win. When he's in his own, he's in his own. There's no taking him out. So when is that? Oof. That this weekend? Yes, sir. That's crazy. Thirty. Let's get it. And that closes down. Then that basically closes out the fights for all of September. I mean, shoot. The next time we see y'all, we're gonna be in October, and we're gonna tell y'all what's happening in October. Yes, sir. Should we do a? We'll check the date because I don't know. Man, I think Halloween special. Oh, depending on how things. Yeah, things fall. We haven't looked at the calendar yet. Yeah, well, I still got it on September. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll see what not. Dress up. Get a little spooky in here. You know what I mean? A little spider web. Probably a witch should come out of nowhere, you know? You never know. But yeah. <laughs> you never know. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you never know. Do, 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 do. That's it for the fight news, y'all. Till next. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to say, but it is time for us to fly high. <laughs> Let's go. Like our good old eagles would. Yeah. We fly high. No, no lie. lie. We roll in puddles. We should We go. It's not good. It's not good. No <laughs> lie. We party. That's, yo, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. Funny. But on a lighter note, hey, guys. We got to go. We do we gotta, gotta go. go. And as we like to say, if you are feeling the vibe, like, share, and subscribe. My name is Platini. And my name is Plaque. And we are two peas inside of a pod. Let's get it. Next week, baby. Holla! Salutations. <laughs>